Hello guys, today I am going to show you guys how to implement AppMod Rewarded Video Ads in your UD project. This tutorial will be using the previous two tutorial projects which showing the implementation of AppMod Banner and also Interstitial Ads. So, if you have no idea how to set up Google AppMod, you are feel free to check out the previous two tutorials at the link below. The link to download the mobile, the Google AppMod SDK will be in the description also. So the things I want to highlight here is at your plugin, if you are using Android platform, please make sure you have configured your Android manifest file correctly. you have placed the metadata inside the application tag with your correct app ID. So now let's get started for this rewarded video tutorial. So let's get to the app mod script. Now for the rewarded video we need to define a private rewarded reward based video ads. We call this rewarded video. I will call this rewarded video so I change it so then now mm, let me separate the previous interstitial as code from current section okay now we need two methods the first one will be public void show reward video and followed by another method called public void request reward video let me change this to private as this is only for internal usage so now um, i think we will start from the request reward video method first so same as the insta t-shirt ads the reward video will have a different ads unit id so we copy the platform checking script for the ad unit id then we change it to reward video and reward ad id will be better cool make sure you change it for each platform now we need to look for this reward ad id so go to your google app mod and your after you have created an application either for android or iOS, look for add unit click add add unit select the rewarder option give it a name and this will be the reward amount you the amount you want to reward to your player so card for testing purpose i will set to 5 create add unit and this will be the reward add unit id but for testing purpose i am not gonna to use this id so i will go to the unity guide google mod guide to look for the sample id Yep, I will copy this back to our script and paste it. Cool. Now, after we have the ID, then we can call rewarded video. So, look at by placing a create new request and the reward ID. So, this the create new request method is from the previous tutorial which will return a new add request builder from the SDK. Now our request reward video is complete. So mm, this rewarder video will be a little different from the instance t-shirt ads class 
because it is a singleton class, so we need to reference to it instant on our start method. Equal to rewarded video, rewarded base video dot instant. Uh, whether I should call the request reward method here. Okay, previously we were combining the sh both both of the show and request method together for the installation as but for this rewarded video I would like to pre-request at the start method to show you guys a different way to request it. So we will call the request reward video here. Then on the show reward video method we will check whether the video is ready if yes then we will show it not equal to no no it's dot is loaded then we will call the show method cool okay now okay now we need to handle the result from the ads so let's go back to the script let me look for the event for the reward and the video open yep this is the one we're looking for which handle reward based video reward so we will register the event to on app rewarded to our handle method. Cool. Now, uh, we only need the amount. So let's declare a private in the reward text to show the reward amount. Then we need also an integer to keep track the total reward we get from the ads. So we call this game amount and lastly and another integer for the reward amount by the ads. So let's remove the print and also the type. Now we will set this amount to the reward amount. We will cast it to integer for testing purpose so this will be the amount yep due to there is some track issue with unity we cannot immediate set the reward text over here equal to the amount then we need to use the update method void update and check if the reward amount is greater than zero if yes then we reset the amount mm, before we let me format this first it should set the game amount equal to reward amount then we will set the reward tax over here to the game amount dot to string um okay now since we only request the reward video on the start method means after we show the reward we should also re-request again after the video is closed so let's go back to the guide look for another event to be handled called handle reward base video close remove the print function we will call the request reward video here so make this two method as private we are not using externally now mm, let me register this 
method to on at close. Yep, on at close. We go to our handle method. Okay, mm, the error of the equal sign is missing. Okay, cool. Now, I think that's it for our app mod script. So, now we are ready to test it. So, let's go back to Unity. As you can see, I have a reward text and reward button over here. So, let me rename this to reward button. Now, we will add the on click function which will trigger the app mod script show reward video now on the app mod script we are referring to the reward text we need to make it to public mm, wait. so hurry okay now yeah, I can test it. So go to view setting. Wait, wait, wait. We should, if you first time set up the Google App Mod, you should go to your Play Service Resolver, Android Resolver, Force Resolve to solve all and to resolve all the Android dependency. Else, you will hit some class missing when the apps is built. Cool. Now, let's go to a build setting. Make sure it's Android platform, build and run. Mm, replace it. Now, we wait for the build to be ready. Cool. As you can see, our reward button is over here and reward text over. Let's try to click the button. Yep, the S is showing. So, let's see whether the reward callback is complete. Cool. Okay, let me try again. Wait for the S to be done. Hmm. Let me check on the handle video reward. Yep, this should be adding the reward amount instead of just set it to the reward amount. Let me try to view again. Showing then try again.
Okay. Yep, I think that's it. We have successfully integrated the app mock rewarded video into our Unity project. If you're facing issues like the missing classes for the Android platform, please make sure you remember to resolve all the spare service dependency. This should work fine on the iOS also and it should not require any additional setup. So I hope this tutorial helps you. If it did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.